Good afternoon and welcome to an early edition of Hockey Night at Pisa. Brought to you by Memory to Video Productions and tonight sponsored by JD's Pizzeria Bar and Grill in Southington. They make the best pizza and they have the biggest TV in the Southington area. Today's game features two teams desperately in need of a win. At one and four, the loose cannons need to pick up a victory to start more clicking their way up the standings to finish in the top four and make the playoffs. At two and three, the Allies need to find themselves on firmer ground. And although they make the playoffs and the season want to end today, they certainly want to get themselves into a better position to avoid the big boys at the top of the standings. These two teams met in week two of the season with the loose cannons picking up their only victory of the year, eight to seven. So today we're expecting to see an interesting game, a different, a different con contrasting styles with the loose cannons playing up to their name, scoring a lot of goals, giving up a lot of goals, and the allies with a much more disciplined approach trying to find their way in something that will work for them for the rest of the season. I'm your host, Paul Burke, and we'll be bringing you the game from Pisa in just a few minutes. Here at Hockey Night at Pisa, the Allies desperately needing a win, get themselves up to 500, and make it much more realistic for them to hold on to a playoff spot. The Loose Cannons seeking to take advantage of a team they beat earlier in the season, and to give themselves an opportunity to play their way into the playoffs in their last four games. Julio Elva is in the goal for the Allies, and Adam Cherry, the big offensive threat for Loose Cannons, and right away, right away, right off the bat, Jay Millard comes up with a goal off the faceoff, and it's now one to nothing, Loose Cannons. Not the start the Allies were looking for, but Millard has been doing that to teams all year long. In fact, he is the league leader in assists. This time, takes a wrist shot himself and buries it in the back of the net. One to nothing, loose cannons. Allies. Again, a very measured attack, controlling the ball, moving into their offensive end. Not the way the Allies wanted to start. Falling behind one to nothing extremely early in the game. Philip Elliott, five goals in the last two games to take the face off, just over the midline. Controlled by the Loose Cannons. Adam Cherry, Jay Milliard. Guys were looking forward to score the goals for the Loose Cannons, and Milliard didn't disappoint, scoring with less than a minute into the game. Less than 30 seconds even into the game. Loose Cannons trying to clear it out of their own end. Ball's turned over and Cherry gets it deep in the offensive quarter. Great defensive play by Joey Delgado. Takes the ball away, flips it up the boards, and now the Allies have a chance down the left side. Centering pass blocked by the Cannons. Ball rolls back out to center ice and dumped into the offensive end. Loose Cannons take it. And they'll decide to skate it out now. Nice little poke check by Philip Elliott, gives the ball back to the Allies. Joey Delgado inside the blue line shot, just wide. Allies applying some pressure now, looking to tie the game up. Turnover, and here come the loose cannons. Great centering pass, shot save by Joey Alves. That was Keith McIntyre, who had a nice little backhand shot off a great centering pass by the Lark. What a fantastic shot there as the Allies clear it, and Mike Kelsey ties it up at one, finding an opening just over the right shoulder of goalie Scott Milliard. One to one, 9-13 to go in the first period. So the Allies look like they were sleepwalking through the beginning. They come back right away, tie it up less than two minutes into the game. Jim Sabatini tying his shoe over there. The official slowed things down a little bit. Here come the Allies. They won the faceoff. And Jeanette Rieger tosses the ball towards the net. Where goalie Scott Milliard covers up. We'll have a faceoff at the loose cannons end. Mike Kelsey to take the face 
for the Allies. Controlled by the Allies and dumped into the offensive end. And quickly the ball goes out of bounds. And referee Jim Sabatini will grab another ball and we'll have a face off around center ice. Actually, he's marching it down deeper into the loose cannon's end. This clearly the ball went off of the loose cannon stick. Mike Kelsey steps up to take the face. Good defensive play again. And now the loose cannons attacking the left side. That looks to me like Dave Rodick dumps it into the offensive end and it's controlled by the Allies. Allies moving up the right side. That's Todd Latour who played a great game against Big Knife just last weekend. Mike Kelsey's been very involved so far tonight. He brings the side. That looks like it's going to be a penalty. Interference going to be called on Kelsey as uh, it looked like it could have been a uh, inadvertent uh, collision there at center ice, but the referee, Jim Sabatini, again, it's the third time we used his name tonight, felt as though Kelsey was interfering with the progress of the loose cannons, and as a result, he's got himself a minute and 30 in the box. Takes off in the Allies and controlled by the Allies. That's Brian Walters. He dumps it deep down the end. Remember, there's no offsides, no icing ever in roller hockey. Turn over there, and here comes Cole Jarowski on a run. Cole's deep in the offensive end, doesn't really have much help, but it is killing some time. Takes a little run towards the goal and they stop play. No goal will score, but it will be a face-off deep in the loose cannon's end. 30 seconds of the face-off, of the penalty has approximately gone by already. Face-off won by the loose cannons. They're on their way. Great passing again by the loose cannons. But Adam Cherry, the, the dangerous goal scorer, the loose cannons couldn't get a shot up. This could be a breakaway, an opportunity for Philip Elliott. Great save by Scott Milliard. As Philip Elliott crossed the face of the goal, tried to put a backhander by him, and Milliard stopped it. Cherry, a couple good shots there, misses. Rebound saves by Julio Alves. Ball still loose in front, and Julio covers up, and there'll be a face off to his right side. A lot of contact here tonight as a couple people are getting roughed up and hitting the deck. So both teams going at it. Both teams seem to realize how important this game is if they're going to make a realistic playoff run. Face off to the right of Elvis, controlled by the Allies. Try to go up the boards, and the ball hit a teammate and was turned over. Loose cannons. Looking to get some control. Here's Cherry. Cherry dumps it forward. Milliard is hanging out in front of the goal, couldn't get it. Rotek in the corner. Great defensive play by Cole Jarowski. Milliard and Jarowski knocks it out. It'll be a face-off deep in the Allies end. 6.44 left to play in the first. It's a one-goal game. This is definitely going at the pace that the Allies would like. The loose cannons are run and gun. They score a lot of goals, they give up a lot of goals. Last time these two teams met, the final score was 8-7. to seven. Right now, this pace is just what the Allies want. A little bit more control, a little bit more of trying to keep an eye on Adam Cherry. Certainly don't want the leading goal scorer in the league and obviously the best offensive player on the loose cannons to get lots of opportunities to beat you. Ball went all the way down, the loose cannons end, and they'll be bringing it up to the right side. Cherry's got it at the blue line, but he's tied up right away. Here come the Allies. Ball gets deflected off of Jer uh, Jeremy Nachisti, and there'll be a face-off deep in the loose cannons end. Yeah. 
Mike Kelsey once again taking the face for the Allies. So win, push towards the goal. Kelsey can't get a stick on it, but he will control behind the net. Kelsey bringing it out front. Kelsey moving from one side to the other, takes a nice hard shot, rebound in front. Couldn't get a good shot off right there. Engine and Rieger had an opportunity. Couldn't get her stick on it. And the ball went just wide. Kelsey trying to maneuver up the left side. Turns it over to Cherry. He's got it now in his defensive end. It's okay, I guess, if he takes over in his defensive end as far as the Allies are concerned. Ball off the boards. Controlled by Joey Elgato. Elgato dumps it in. It'll be controlled back there by Kevin Connell. Kevin to Cherry. Cherry up across the ice. Ball's loose, but goes out of play. I think there'll be a mid-ice face-off here, mid-floor face-off anyway. 5.22 to go, one-to-one -one game. Allies going through a shift. The loose cannons don't seem to have as many players to shift, so they're sticking with what they had on the floor. Philip Elliott taking the face-off for this time. He wins it and draws it back to his defensive end, and here come the Allies' attack. Ryan Watcher spring up. Great shot off the screen and a save by Scott Milliard. Allies definitely putting on some good pressure now. Another shot and a good save. Ryan Watcher's two good wrist shots. That one grazed the pipe. Another rebound. I'm not sure if Scott Milliard got a piece of that or not. Finally, they clear it, but it's going to be controlled by the Allies in their defensive end. Bringing the ball up their right side as they attack from right to left. That was Todd Latour. Great feed again. Watchers, Watchers, another nice shot and a save by Scott Milliard. So Watchers having a great, great shift. He's gotten three good shots off. Scott Milliard has been there to make the saves. Face off to the left of the goal for the Allies. Controlled by the loose cannons. Dumps it up the boards. Nice little race for the ball. One by Latour. Latour trying to send it up the boards, however. Sent a little bit too high and it went out of bounds. It'll be a face-off. Mid-ice. Philip Elliott to take the draw for the Allies. Jay Milliard taking the draw for Luis Gannis. Controlled towards the defensive end by the Allies. Long shot. Easy save for Julio Alves. He just kicks it to the left side. And here come the Allies. Turnover. Loose Cannons on a rush. Loose Cannons make some nice passes in front. Let's see what they got here. Good defensive play there as the ball goes back down towards the Allies' offensive end. Great look by Brian Watchers again. Centering pass from behind the goal by Philip Elliott. No one was home for the Allies. People getting tied up behind the goal. Watchers couldn't really get free. Now the ball is kicked back out to center ice. Cole Jarowski dumps it into the right side of the goal, trying to place some rebound off the boards. And it's covered up by Scott Milliard. We'll have a faceoff. Which is 3.29 left to go on the game. It's 1-1. One one. Haven't had many opportunities for the loose cannons, so... The defensive strategy employed by the Allies is working thus far. Julio Alves, who was overworked last week in their one goal loss to Big Knife, not having as much action today. Face off again, one by Mike Kelsey. Pushes it towards the goal. Couldn't quite get a stick on it to get a good shot, but he controls again behind the goal. And here come the loose cannons getting it out of their end, but it's controlled by the Allies. Some great moves by Cole Jarowski. Couldn't get a shot off. Here come the loose cannons coming up the right side. There's a great save by Julio Alves. Nate Brodick had a great shot off. And it was a glove save by Julio Alves as he got that hand up and got a piece of the shot. That shot inside. By Keith McIntyre gets knocked down by defenseman Cole Jarowski. But the loose game is coming again. That one gets deflected up into the net as Dave Moronic again try to just push the ball 
towards the goal, looking for a rebound or some garbage goal inside. Tipped off an Allies defenseman stick. So with 2.37 to go, we'll have a face off to the right of goalie Julio Alves. Loose cannons are not used to having only one goal at the 2.30 mark of the first period. That clearing pass by Cole Drusky didn't make it out of the end. It led to a quick shot by the loose cannons. We dump it in. Another shot, just wide. Milliard will control for the loose cannons. Jay Milliard, he's got the first goal of the game. Second in, he's in front now. Had an opportunity there. Julio Alves blocked his path to the goal. Again, the loose cannons in front. Hanging out in front there, couldn't get their stick out of Cole Jarowski. Great lead pass for Mike Kelsey. Mike Kelsey, nice move up the right side. Kelsey with an opportunity to take the lead, and he does. Kelsey, great patience. Took his time. Waited for the goalie to go down. Scott Milliard trying to dive across the floor, giving up the top shelf, and Mike Kelsey buried it. Nice shot by Mike Kelsey. That gives the Allies a 2-1 lead with 154 to go in the first period. Cherry. Cherry right off the face. Comes right down, gets shot seconds after the ball was dropped. He looks like he's on a mission. But good defense there. They kind of double teamed him and squeezed him there. Brian Watrous and Todd Latour would not let him get free in front to get a shot off of that rebound. This is Todd Latour. Makes a pass to Watrous. Watrous trying to dump it into the end and it gets down to the offensive end. Then it comes right back. Allies controlling in their defensive end. Dump it up the left side. Ball we'll gets centered around again. Back to Watrous. Oh, what a great shot again. Brian Watchers to get some quick shots off. That one was a great save by Scott Milliard. He had to be on his toes to make that save. He got a piece of it, and I think it's still at the crossbar. Centering pass gets picked off. Here come the loose cannons. Great save by Julio Alves. Keith McIntyre, a nice backhand move. Had Alves down on the ground. But he couldn't get a buy in as Alves pinned it with his glove arm down on the floor. 49 seconds to go in the period. Big, big save there. Philip Elliott taking the face off in the defensive end. He's going up against Jay Milliard. Face off won by the Allies. Quatrus got it, has it on the right side. Latour was cutting up, he couldn't get it. And here come the loose cannons again. Shot. Save. Rebound. Julio Alves diving blindly to his right. Makes the save on Keith McIntyre's rebound. And now we get a little up and down style. This is probably more what the loose cannons are accustomed to. And they're going to have another run here in the last 15 seconds. Let's see what they got. Just dump it in the end, actually. Jeremy Nachisti dumps it in. Todd Latour dumps it back out. Still have five seconds to go as the team seem to be hoping for the end of the period. And there it is. The end of period number one. In a game that needs to be won by both teams, the Allies find themselves with a 2-1 to -one lead off of some nifty play by Mike Kelsey. Julio Alves coming up big at the end of the period to preserve the lead. So the loose cannons came out and scored in a matter of seconds. Gave themselves a 1-0 lead. Then the Allies came back again with a more methodical approach. We saw the more wide open play in the last minute or two of the period. Loose Cannons getting some opportunities, but Julio Alves was there to shut the door. Two to one at the end of one, and we'll see what happens in the next two periods. I would think you're going to look to see the Loose Cannons wanting to run up and down a little bit more again, spread people out, trying to get some easier opportunities, which again could backfire and it will give the Allies chance for a counterattack and an opportunity to increase their lead. So the teams will switch ends and we're ready to go here for period number two. 
Right now, the leading goal scorer in the league, Adam Cherry, is being shut out. The Alex playing good defense, Julio Alves playing solid in the goal, but I would imagine that Cherry is going to find the back of the net sooner or later. So let's see how the second period gets started. Facing off Jeremy Nachisti for the loose cannons, and obviously Mike Kelsey taking the face for the Allies. Goes down to the defensive end of the cannons, can really control it there. Try to move it up there, left side, turn it over. Kelsey tried to get a quick shot off, and it was blocked. Here come the loose cannons up the left side. Dave Rotek drives up, gets a nice shot off, but Julio Alves stops that. And we'll have a stoppage of play again. Just 27 seconds into the period, Alves covers it up. Then we'll have a face-off just to his right. The Chisty stepping up to take the draw against Kelsey. This time it's won by Kelsey, and he draws it back to his defensive end. For Cole Jorowski. Controls, and now Kelsey making a run. And it's turned over in the defensive end, controlled by the loose cannons. Play again, getting a little bit more up and down, seems to be more of the loose cannon style. Oh, what a great shot there by Cole Jarowski. Cole Jarowski, good speed up the right side. Took a nice hard shot, Milliard made the save. May have caught him in a bad spot as he takes some time to gather himself as we get ready for the face-off to his right side. Face-off in the offensive end of the Allies. Kelsey will take the draw against Connell in this time. Put in play in the win by Connell. Tries to get it up the boards. And right there to stop it is Joey Delgado. Loose cannons control up the right side. Dump back to Milliard. Milliard centering pass to Cherry. But Cherry is being hounded by Anjanette Rieger. And as a result, doesn't get the ball, he doesn't get a shot off. Morotek takes it away for the cannons. Here we go, Cherry coming up the side, let's see what he's got. Nice quick shot, saved by Julio Alvarez. It definitely looks as though Cherry likes to have open space, likes to get himself moving. That was a very quick wrist shot, Julio Alvarez on his game, makes the stop. Face off will be just to Julio Alves' left this time. And Cherry will take the face for the cannons. Draw controlled by the Allies. Big win there by Philip Elliott. He went back to this defensive end. And now the Allies get to bring the ball up the floor. Elliott gets it, dumps it in behind the goal. Great defensive play there by Rotec. Rotec tries to send it up to Cherry. There's an Allies defender right there in his face. He can't get going. Rotec stops the centering pass. Turnaround shot. Quick move by Watrous. Didn't get much on it though, and it just went wide. Cherry gets into his defensive end, and now he's going to have a chance to scan it up the right side and put some moves on. Takes a quick shot again. Alves makes the save. Collin controls for the loose cannon deep. And the defensive end dumps it into the corner on the opposite side. Ball simply advanced down the floor. Where it's going to be controlled by the loose cannons Connolly, who finds Rotec on the left side. And here come the loose cannons. The loose cannons seem to be pretty content to simply change the ball from one side to the other. Great defensive play today by the Allies. They're not giving the loose gain as much time or space to move down their offensive end. This looks like Philip Elliott. Nice centering pass, just missed the mark as Todd Latour was just about a yard away from the ball. Latour controls. There's some nice, oh, wide open inside. Just couldn't get enough on it. Philip Elliott had a chance, couldn't get his stick on it and get the ball towards the goal. Loose cannons just dump it down the floor, trying to catch their breath after it looked like the Allies were going to have an opportunity to increase their lead. Allies advancing once again, keeping the pressure on. Turn the ball over, and there's going to be a penalty there as Brotek 
seem to collide with Kelsey. The result is going to be it's going to be a one minute and thirty second penalty on the loose cannons. Rotech simply turned. Kelsey was there. The result was Kelsey hit the floor, and the referee's arm went up. So a minute thirty penalty. See if the Allies can increase their lead. 7.22 to go in the second. 2-1 to one Allies in this very important game in this D1 Roller Hockey League standings. Face-off controlled by Jeremy Nachisti and the Loose Cannons. Nachisti, nice little backhand up the boards. Takes some time. Delgado controls for the Allies. Brings it up the right side. Dumps it inside of Elliot. Elliot dumps it behind. That's Kelsey with it. Kelsey tries to stuff it home around the pipe. No dice. As Scott Milliard is there. Didn't give him any space. And now we're going to have a face off just to the left side of goalie Scott Milliard. Nachisti will be taking the face. It's a win for the loose cannons. But a big steal there. As McIntyre tried to clear it out, Watchers was there, now right in front, Kelsey. Tried to lift it over the top and just missed. He had more time than you could ever imagine. He actually could have taken his time even more than he did to find the goal there. Delgado, again up the right side. Nice little touch pass by Jarowski. And this is Mike Kelsey. Kelsey, good lead pass to Latour. Latour, quick shot, saved by Scott Milliar. 6.25 to go. 33 seconds in the penalty. It's 2-1 to one allies. We'll see what happens with Schiste. Getting ready to take the face. They wait just long enough to get Cherry back on the floor, and he'll take the face. Face off, just to the goalie's right. And Schiste steps in to send the ball up the blue line for control of the allies. Nice quick wrist shot. By Jarowski. And it's quickly sent down the other end by McIntyre. The Allies control behind their net and begin advancing it up the right side. Cherry will do a little floor checking. But the Allies advance it deep behind their goal. Kelsey playing with it here in the corner. Still controlling it here in the corner. The penalty is now over. Great centering pass, but just just like that. Rotec was just coming off the penalty. He just got there in time to stop that opportunity. <clears throat> Kelsey doing a lot of work deep behind their own goal. Nice battle there. They're going to let that continue. Maybe hit the ceiling, but they let it go. This is Keith McIntyre. Right side. Shot by Cherry, just wide. Steal my cherry. Let's see if we can get a good run here. Possibly get an opportunity to score. Dodges Brian Watchers or Philip Elliott. By one quick shot there, just missed. Cherry still has a great centering pass. Shot saved by Julio Alves. Julio just doesn't give it up, give up those easy goals. Had to stick down on the floor. That ball's got to be lifted over his shoulder, which would be a tough, tough shot in close quarters. 5.02 left to play in the second. Two to one allies. Face off just to the right of Julio Alves. Stepping up to take it, Jay Milliard for the loose cannons. They have not had many opportunities to score. There's a quick shot off the face by Conlon. Didn't make it all the way through to the goal. Referee makes a great stop on Joey Delgado. Shot and a save by Milliard. He doesn't know where the rebound was. Conlon controls just to the right side of the goal. Trying to bounce it up the boards. Didn't work. Good steal there by Brian Watchers. Loose cannons just lobbed the softball deep into the Allies' defensive end, where it's controlled and the Allies mounting another attack. Hard shot just to the right of the goal. Rotec hustles after it, keeps it in play, sends it up the right side. McIntyre loses the ball to the Allies, and now the Allies mounting a, another counterattack. Joey Delgado getting tied up with Conlon. Joey Delgado had it for a second. Rotec took it away. Nice centering pass there. Nobody home. 
Here come the loose cannons. Just under four minutes to play in a two to one game. That's McIntyre deep in the offensive end. Rotex over for a shot, good shot, Ooh, just wide. Here come the Allies. Allies down their left side. Great centering pass by Latour. Oh, just looked it up over the net. Kelsey had a chance. That ball was run down by Anjanette Rieger, who sends it back across to Kelsey. Kelsey behind the goal. Nice little move in front, but Conlon playing good defense. Rieger, Kelsey, and Latour. Latour, this one from outside the blue line. Hits it off the pipe and in. That's a big goal right there for the Allies. They now have a 3 1 lead. 3 12 left to play in the second. Certainly not an insurmountable lead when you have the league's leading goal scorer and number nine, Adam Cherry, and you have the league's leading assist man on that squad as well. So we'll see how they uh, can continue to hold down the loose cannons. They're up 3 to 1 now with 3 12 to go. This win would go a long way in getting the Allies into a better position as far as making a playoff run. Face-off, controlled by Kelsey. Tried to take it one on three, and it was, he was stopped by the loose cannons. Cherry's got it along the left side, but he does, he's not being given much room to run. Nice move there. Oh, what a great save. Kelsey made a great move to get himself free. Went to the backhand. Scott Milliard was there to stop him. 246 left to go, three to one allies. Boy, the loose cannons have got to be frustrated now. They score a lot of goals, not really getting many opportunities tonight. Kelsey, another great job, great timing. He has, he has, oh boy, look at this. Kelsey made a great play again. He's doing a great job timing on the faceoff. Won it again, pushed it towards the goal. Got tied up by Conlon, was wrestling around for the ball. Probably had an opportunity to get another shot off. Referee on the side of the ball and blew Face off to the right side of the Conlon against Kelsey. That one is won by the Allies. Ripped by Latour. Deflected out of the way by Conlon. Loose can is just chuck it down the floor. As a result, the Allies come right back out. Kelsey, another nice move. Trying to get the ball back towards the goal, but it's picked up by Rotek. Rotek trying to get it up the right side, but Kelsey hustles back and gets it back. Kelsey getting bumped around a little bit on the right side. Here comes Cherry. Does he have enough space to get going? No. Right away, Rieger's in his face. Anjanette Rieger just not letting Chelsea get going. Oh, what a great save. Centering pass. Beautiful shot by Nachisti. Julio Alves. Julio Alves makes a great save. Cherry with 145. Gets it all the way back behind his goal. He needs space. He needs to get ready to move and get going quickly. He starts now. Dodges through a number of players. Makes a quick shot. Save by Julio Alves. Cherry might want some space. You can tell that he enjoys getting out in the open, putting some moves on, and getting moving. Unfortunately, Anjanette Rieger has done a great job of shutting him down tonight by simply staying with him at every inch of the floor, never giving him a chance to get going. In that case, Rieger was summing off the floor. Cherry got the ball deep behind his own goal and was able to take a nice run. As a result, we're going to have a penalty on the Allies. I didn't see what the penalty was. I think they're going to go with too many men on the ice. And there's going to be a little discussion. Captain of the Allies, Joey Delgado, going off there to discuss things with the referees. Anjanette Rieger was making her way off the floor, trying to get to the locker room side of the floor, which is opposite the benches. Obviously, play continued, and I think as a result, there was too many people on the, on the floor. So with 1.35 to go, the loose cannons will have an extra man opportunity. 
Let's see what they have here. Facing off Jeremy Nechisti and Philip Elliott. They're going to try it again. Face off is won by the Allies. Clearing fast, deflected. Nice rip. But saved by Milliard as a result. Rotec bringing it up the ice. He centers it right down the middle. Oh, that's good. Rebound shot is in. The jersey is, is a little bit uh, covered up. I think it's Keith McIntyre, number two for the loose cannons, who gives them a chance to get right back in this. Dave Rotek simply sent a long shot down the floor, bounced up, saved by Alves, but the rebound came right to Keith McIntyre, who put it in the back of the net to make it three to two. Allies three, loose cannons two, just 115 to go in a second. Here comes Rotek again. They said that they're much more offensive minded than defensive minded. So these long clearing passes down the floor really set the loose cannons up to make a rush. Oh boy. Loose cannons kind of fell asleep there as Brian Watchers had a great opportunity. But it was saved by Scott Millard. 54 seconds to go in the second. Three to two allies face off to the right of Millard. Connelly steps up, takes the face, won by the Allies. Center towards, oh, what a great play there. Joey Delgado just flipped it towards the goal. Millard made the save, but there was a rebound. Another quick shot and a save. That was a great shot by Watchers. Ball's dumped in. The Allies putting on the pressure again. Rotek getting double team behind the goal. And now here we go. He likes, this. He likes to get going. Rotek has a nice speed up the left side. Quick shot, Alva saves, kicks it to his right. Rebound, Rotec checks it down. This time it's taken away by the Allies. Dumps it forward behind the goal. Picked up by Watchers. Watchers turns it over. This looks like Connellan. Connellan try to quick shots. Oh, what a great save. As Connellan tried to flip it up, Philip Elliott was there. Took that pass and thank you very much. He's got a quick wrist shot on it. And Scott Milliard saved it to keep his team in the game. At the end of two, three to two allies. And again, the importance of this game, the win would make the allies three and three, would put them in a tie for third place. And since they had beaten the drunken leprechauns previously, they would be in third place by a tiebreaker. A win by the loose cannons gives them a record of two and four. It would get them out of the cellar as they would have they would now be tied with the allies and by virtue of the tiebreaker system they'd be officially in fifth place while the allies slipped to fourth so an important game for both sides and right now it's three to two game definitely going at a pace that the allies like three to two much more defensive minded club than the loose cannons the loose cannons score a lot of goals. And they have Adam Cherry, who's leading the league in goals. They've got Jay Milliard, who's got nine goals as well. And they've got Mike Mazarko, who's got nine assists. So they get a lot of contributions from the loose cannons. They simply haven't been able to really get started tonight. So here we go. Once the clock gets reset, we'll be ready to go. 11 minutes left in the contest. Three to two allies. Mike Kelsey taking the face for the allies as he's done a great job all night. Cherry for the loose cannons. Face off is won by the cannons. Cherry trying to get started, but once again, he's jammed up by the allies. Todd Latour on the right side. Just missed Cherry again, trying to get himself some speed and some momentum. Going to go great, quick shot there. Millard had a great opportunity, saved by Julio Alves. One timer to tie it up, denied by Alves. Deflection off of Cherry into the rafters, so he had a savage play. 10:28 to go in the third. Three to two allies. 
Face off will be just on the loose cannon side of the red line. Stepping up Kelsey against Cherry. Face off one by Kelsey, controlled by Kelsey anyway. Kelsey's kind of up there by himself, so he dumps it down at the end where the ball will cycle around and make it all the way up to the top right to Latour. Latour finds Delgado cutting to the center. Pass just off the mark. Kelsey chases it down. Kelsey up the right side. He's tied up by Conlon. Conlon dumps it down for Cherry just off the mark. And now the Allies advance it up the left side. Right in front. Great play there. Kelsey looking. Cherry steals it off the stick of Delgado. Delgado makes a great play. Up the right side, Latour. Kicks it back to Delgado. Now Delgado advances. I'm trying to find Kelsey, no luck. And now here come the loose cannons. Again, the more open play seems to favor the loose cannons as they get more opportunities to score. Millard is, oh boy. Millard tried to centering pass to Cherry. The defense for the Allies was there to stop it. shot just wide and here come the loose cannons dumps it down the side Millard gets it he kicks it back Rotek kicks it forward oh what a great save by Alvis Millard had more time than he thought took his time tried to get it over the diving Alves. Alves made the save Julio Alves coming up big again tonight Game is getting a little more run and gun, which seems to favor the loose cannons. Great quickness and speed by Jarowski, starting to be advances up the right side. Ball in front. Ball in front. Colin made a great play to lift the stick of Jarowski. Millard almost let the ball advance by him past the goal line for a goal. But he covers it up, and as a result, there'll be a face off. Face off to the right of Millard. Eight to three the score. Three to two the score. Eight thirty to go in the third. Philip Elliott taking the face this time for the Allies. He wins it and advances towards the goal, where he stopped and is kicked back out. Latour trying to center it gets turned over. McIntyre's got it now. McIntyre centering great defensive play by Jarowski. Jarowski having a great period here and a couple of nice shifts. He brings it up the center of the ice. Nice centering pass for Watchers. Watchers shot just deflected high by goalie Scott Millard. That one's deflected up into the rafters. And another stoppage of play with exactly eight minutes to go. Eight minutes to go in the third. Allies three, the loose cannons two. Face off just to the left of center ice. Philip Elliott taking it for the Allies, and he wins it and he advances it back towards his defensive end. It's just he took the face for the loose cannons. The Allies controlling things. Surprised they're not trying to slow things down a little bit more. Elliott had it skated around the front, and here come the loose cannons. This looks like Nachisti. Nachisti centering past McIntyre. Just missed just missed the mark. Alves again had to be awake in order to cover up. Because I don't think that was a shot. More so as a pass, but it advanced all the way to the goal. Alves covers it up. Face off to the left side of the goal. 7.28 to play. 3-2 to two allies. Nachisti taking the face for the Cannons. Kelsey for the allies. Kelsey wins the draw. Delgado. Comes in to help out and kicks it back where it'll be controlled by the Allies. Advancing out of the defensive end, they find Latour on the right side. Delgado's got it. Delgado facing pressure from the Chisti. It's taken away by the loose cannons in their defensive end. Where Conlon controls. They're kind of playing around with it down there, and as a result, Kelsey almost got an opportunity. Here come the loose cannons on the run. Great move here. Rotek had a chance. Went to the backhand and he sent it up towards us. I think he was trying to hit our cameraman. 6.53 left to play. 3-2 lead by the Allies. 
Rotek had a chance on the back end of his stick, sent the ball out of the out of the rink, and as a result, face off just on the defensive side of the loose cannons center line. Kelsey steps up to take the face, and that's Cherry for the cannons. Ball is pushed back towards the loose cannons goal where they control it. Great hustle again by Kelsey where he forces the turnover. Delgado now is in deep on the left side. Delgado centering pass. Stopped. Cherry now taking a run. Can he put a move on? He dumps the ball forward. He still has control now behind the goal. Cherry's finally got some space. Centering pass. Great lift by Kelsey. Prevented Rotek from getting anything on it. Kelsey now gets a run. Stop made by Scott Miller. Thought there was going to be a call. Referee looked like he was going to be blowing his whistle. He did not. As a result, we get down the other end. Plenty of time. Oh, my goodness. The shot by Dave Brotek almost deflected off of the stick of Cole Jarowski into the goal. Kelsey on the other end. Has lots of time. Doesn't get the shot off. Obviously, we got a little helter-skelter going on here. Up and down, up and down. Again, this kind of favors the loose cannons. And now they've got a three-on-two. They give it to Cherry in front of him. He gets, oh, what a great save by Elvis. Rebound. Cherry controlled. Shot saved by Elvis. The loose cannons. The loose cannons are definitely getting an opportunity to tie this up. Elvis and the Allies not letting it happen. Philip Billy controls now behind their offensive end. Just missed. Kelsey was there for the rebound. Couldn't get a stick on it. Centering pass. Still nobody from the Allies can get a stick on it. It's just the just sends it down the defensive end. Clock continues to run as we approach the five minute mark. Three to two, Allies. McIntyre kicks it back out. Now we have Watrous and Elliott advancing it up for the Allies. Two men staying back for the Allies. Jarowski's getting his little break. Latour comes on to spell him. See if the loose cans can get another run. Instead, they just dump it in over the shoulder of McIntyre. It'll be Latour controlling for the Allies. Let's see if they slow it down to control things. Push it up the side. Great centering pass there. Ooh. Great save again by Millar. McIntyre advancing up. Loose cans left side coming to his right. Centering pass. Nobody home. As a result, it's turned over. Philip Elliott controls. Penalty is going to be called against the loose cannons. Looks like they checked the stick out of the hands of Philip Elliott. As a result, an interference penalty will be called. This will be big. 3.59 to go. A 1.30 extra man opportunity for the Allies. Obviously, the Allies score here during this penalty. Could be an insurmountable 4-2 lead with time dwindling down. If the loose cannons can step up and deny them the opportunity, the tying goal could be had in the final two and a half to three minutes. Loose cannons look a little tired as they're taking a little break on their defensive end. Kelsey getting set to take the draw for the Allies. And Chisty steps up for the loose cannons. And they take a timeout. So I thought the loose kittens needed a little break. They'll take their time out now. It's a short time out, not enough for us to go to our TV break, but it is enough time for us to mention our sponsor again for the night, JD's Pizzeria Bar and Grill in Southington. They make great pizza, and they have the biggest TV in the Southington area. So if you have some time tonight after the game, why not stop by, get a slice, and watch the replay of this game. The horn sounds, the teams don't seem to be reacting, but eventually they'll make their way back out onto the floor to play the final 359. It'll be a power play opportunity for the Allies. Big interference call with 359 to go in the third. The loose cannons down by one. They'll have a face-off in their defensive end 
and we'll need to come up with a stop here if they're going to have any hope of either tying this game up or pulling out the victory. Cherry on the face, he wins it back to his defensive corner. Kelsey and Cherry getting into it, but again, they're not giving Cherry much room to get moving at all. Morotek and McIntyre, the other two players, out on the floor for the loose cannons. Jarowski, who's played a great game, brings the ball back up, but it's knocked down by McIntyre. And as a result, we've got the ball bounce around a little bit. And Cherry gets it at center ice, and he decides to just dump it in. Looks like the loose cannons are going to concentrate on killing the penalty. Uh-oh, turnover here by Cherry. This could be good. Cherry shot, saved by Alvis. Alvis did not know where the, the ball was. It was between his legs. Referee lost sight of it, so he blew the whistle. That could have been a huge, huge play there. As the leading scorer in the league had an opportunity, unguarded, Julio Alvis stepped up and made the save. 3.15 to go in the game, 3 to 2 lead allies, 46 seconds left in the penalty and the power play for the allies, yet the loose cannons had the best opportunity to score thus far. Watchers kicks it over to the right side for Jarowski. Jarowski dumps it in. Kelsey will play to the left side. He centers pass to Philip Elliott, who just had to go a little bit too high into the net, stoppage of play. As the shot went off an ally stick, the faceoff will come back into the ally's end. They'll step just over the red line into the ally's defensive side of the floor, and we'll have a faceoff there. Jay and Miller are facing off against Kelsey. Kelsey wins the face. Watrous kicks it to Jarowski again. Jarowski dumps it in off the boards. Philip Elliott gets a quick shot off. Low angle, great stop again by Scott Milliard. Rotek controlled it on the defensive end, sent it into his team's bench. Not intentional, no delay game call. It'll be a face-off on the defensive end. 12 seconds left in the extra man opportunity for the Allies. Again, they haven't had many chances or opportunities to score, but they are taking time off the clock. Let's see what they do here. Joey Delgado centers it. Now this could be an opportunity for Luis Cannons. What a great defensive hustling play by Jarowski. And this could be the opportunity they need. It was. Great play by Jarowski. He controlled it. He kicked it over. Absolutely incredible play. A lot of the Allies giving them now a 4-2 lead. As Jarowski came back, made the stop. Rotrus and Kelsey combined for the goal giving the Allies now a 4-2 lead with 2.30 to go, and that may be just what the doctor ordered. The loose cannons have got to start rushing up and down the floor quickly, and we'll see what happens now as this is Rotec who takes a quick shot. Alves, love save, and he holds on. So he'll have a face-off. 2.11 to go. Allies 2.11 away from making a big statement as to whether or not they're going to be involved in these playoffs. This will put them at 3-3, three and three, a tie for third place, just half a game out of second. But let's see, loose cannons aren't done yet. Conlon steps up, shot, knocked down by Latour. He finds Kelsey up the left side, and we're going to have a penalty again. They're calling high stick. Let's see who they're calling it on. Penalty for high sticking is going to go against Kelsey. So let's see if the loose cannons can get back into it. 155 to go. They're down by two. They have an extra man opportunity for 130. Cherry wins the face against Delgado. Kicks it back to his defensive end. Conlon rips a shot, saved by Alves. Latour controls, but here's Cherry to put some pressure on him. Latour sends it up and out. Again, over the bench, but they killed some time. There'll be another face-off 
just to the left of Elvis. 140 to go now. As it's a race against the clock for the Allies. And a race against the clock for the loose cannons. Cherry wins the face again. Connellan tried to center it over there to Motek. Ended up going behind him. Controlled still by the cannons, but it just took some time. He steps up, centering pass, just missed. Here comes a big shot up top. Let's see if Elvis does not get through. Delgado stepped out to make the stop. And as a result, the Allies now just dump it forward. Delgado's going to track it down the left side. He'll just try to kill some time. Going to crawl another high stick. Timeout called by the Allies as they has their, their second penalty. Looked like they were just going to be able to kind of run the game out. But they pick up their high sticking penalty. And as a result, they call a timeout and they say, let's talk this over. It's four to two Allies. We just have about a minute to play. And the Allies find themselves with two men in the box. Leading goal scorer in the league, Adam Cherry, has not scored yet tonight. So I'm sure he'll be out here on this extra man opportunity for the loose cannons. And he will desperately be trying to put in a goal. 111 to play. Four to two allies. Face off on the allies defensive end. It's four four skaters against two. Should see some opportunities for the loose cannons. Cherry <laughs> wins the face and chucks it. Head off of Joey Delgado's face as he's leaning over from the penalty box. <laughs> Win by Cherry, he tips it back to Conlon. And here we go. Conlon's going to skate it in. He's going to have a great opportunity. Saved by Alves. Rebound. Tipped by Cherry. Didn't get much on it, but Alves is there to save it again. Two great saves by Alves. Second one certainly wasn't a hard shot, but it was a limited time to react. And Alves was there to glove it as Cherry was right on the doorstep. Face off this time. Jarowski definitely put some pressure on it, and he ends up getting the turnover by Rotek. Jarowski doing a great job. He's gonna get a shot off, just missed. And as a result, that killed an awful lot of time. 40 seconds to go. Here comes Cherry. Great centering pass there to Nachisti. Nachisti had trouble controlling it. He kicks it back to Cherry. Shot, save. Rebound, nobody home. Controlled by the loose cannon. Shot, missed. Machisti, shot, save off the head by Alves. We're down to 20 seconds to play. Conlon wasn't alone, however. Philip Elliott came out of the box as his first penalty is over. Now the Allies down just one man, but we're only 10 seconds to go. Ball into the offensive end. Cherry could take a run here. Six seconds, five. Cherry's gonna get a shot off. Yes, saved by Alves. That's been the story of the game. And there's the horn. That ends it. The Allies pull it off four to two. And as a result, the Allies will go to three and three. Will find themselves in a tie for third place with the Drunken Leprechauns. Just a half a game behind the Connecticut Shamrocks. The Loose Cannons on the other side. They're going to be one and five. And they're going to find themselves looking up at the rest of the league and. They're going to have a tough time trying to sneak their way into the playoffs as they now are two full games out of the playoffs. They're going to have to find a way to take two of their last four, probably three of their last four, in hopes that something else goes their way. That's going to end our broadcast for this evening. We'll be back with you again on Tuesday, August 12th for a 10 p.m. game against the Connecticut Shamrocks and these same allies. The Shamrocks stand right now in sole possession of second place with a 3-2 league record. The Allies now 3-3, three three. so the Shamrocks obviously playing again later this evening, and we'll find out how they're doing. There's a big rivalry game between the Allies and the Shamrocks, so it should be very exciting, and you've got some time to get prepared for it. Tuesday, August 12th at 10 o'clock, Connecticut Shamrocks versus the Allies. Have a great night. We look forward to seeing you again down the road. Big win for the Allies as they now move to 3-3 three and three and find themselves tied for third place. Just a half a game out of second. 
On the other side, the loose cannons fall to one and five and find themselves looking up and out of the playoffs. Two full games behind the rest of the pack. If they need to get they need to get some work done in order to get themselves into real contention. The next time we'll be with you is August 12th for a 10 o'clock game between the Connecticut Shamrocks and these allies. Big rivalry game, so get yourselves prepared for a fun night of hockey the next time we meet, August 12th at Hockey Night at Pisa. Have a great evening.